Welcome to Miramadon Nation. This week we review Tar Heel Mini Hearth Double XL and the Labyrinth. As you can see here, this box is packed to the rim with packing peanuts, and there's no room for error here. Uh, Mac does a really good job packing his products. As you can see, they're wrapped really, really well. I actually had to cut down a lot of these clips because it takes so long to unpackage it. But you can almost guarantee that you'll get nothing busted or broken in these packages from Tar Heel. So here we're going to dive right into the labyrinth. As you can see, this outworld is very spacey. has a lot of cool design to it, and I really like the desert theme. It's got four really strong magnets, a port to connect to the nest, and then here's the nest. As you see here, it's got the same four strong magnets and a port and two water towers. Really good design, lots of room in this nest, really strong magnets. As you can see here, the magnets are so strong, you can hold it just by the nest and the outworld will go nowhere. It's got two big vents on the lid and a nice tight fit. Now we're gonna jump right into the Mini Hearth Double XL. This is a nest I was most excited to review recently because it's Tar Heel's newest, um, kind of goes off the staple of the Mini Hearth. As you see here, it has a new lid with magnets. It's got a water tower, and then it has some rocks in the ceiling built in. That's definitely a really cool design. Um, desert theme on this as well. I sprung for the museum glass so I could kind of see the difference in filming against it with my cell phone light. And uh, yeah, this is just kind of showing you where the magnets are, a tight fit lid with a good mesh. And also I'm gonna show you a really cool feature after this, we'll kind of give you a size comparison. The one on the right is the original mini hearth and then that is a double XL on the left. As you see here, your double XL will be able to connect to any of your existing mini hearths that have the magnets built into it to be able to make them modular. And this here is Tar Heels Ant Juice. It is a protein carbohydrate mix. I've tried it with my Miracocystis Mexicanus colony in the past. They didn't necessarily take to it, but I've heard good things that it works with Campos and some other species. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. My Campos and my Pogos and uh, made my Fidole as well and see how it goes. And then this here came in the accessories pack I got with the double XL, and that is some prepackaged um, Fluon. I forgot what I was saying there for a second. And then comes with some feeders, um, some featherweight forceps from BioQuip. These are really good to have, especially if you're trying to move honey pots from one nest to another. Also, it comes with these syringes with the blue tips, which is gonna be the perfect size to fill up all your water towers. Here's another big feeder with mesh on it. This also has the cup design. I've noticed a lot of people use water bottle caps in case your ants uh, stack sand against the mesh and spill it everywhere. It'll kind of catch it in that cup. This one has it built in. Also, between the XXL and the Labyrinth, I got three of the water feeders that go inside the nest. Nest mates is what they're called, and then it came with a bunch of plugs as well. So the double XL I originally had in mind for this colony, they had some issues, so I had to move them into a fortress, kind of an emergency situation. So what I've done here is I've just connected their nest to the double XL. I'm gonna let them go ahead and expand in there. I've also had a problem with fallen or pleats, so I'm hoping expanding the nest size will keep that from happening. And then my Pogo submitted this is going to be moving into the labyrinth. Um, I will be out of town for work quite often over the next few months. And these guys are exploding and brood, so I've go, gone ahead and done the same thing. Connected it to Labyrinth, added heat to a corner, and we'll go ahead and see what they do. Thank you guys for watching this episode, and if you guys like these products, go ahead and check out TarHeelAnts.com, and you can see their whole wide array. They have nests from big to small, all different kinds of stuff. Go ahead and check them out. 
Thanks and make sure you like and subscribe and also let us know if there's something else you guys want to see on the channel that you've been missing out on lately. Our product reviews will probably slow down when I start traveling for work, but I'm going to stay on it as much as possible. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.